If you own a GoPro camera and a motorbike, you've probably thought of attaching it to the bike at some point and taking it for a ride and just capturing some footage from the ride. And I've always wondered where's the best place to put that camera and I've tried a few different things but I thought I'd get a little bit scientific about it and do a couple of experiments. So for those of you wondering about where the best place to mount a GoPro camera on a motorbike would be, here's a couple of thoughts and let me know what you think. Okay, this is experiment number one of a GoPro attached to a chesty with an extender to get it up a little higher. Take it for a run and see how the footage looks. Okay, so this first clip is uh, the GoPro is actually mounted on what's called a chesty. Uh, it's like a strap that goes on the rider's chest. And I've also put an extender to bring it up another probably five or six centimeters, trying to get it high enough that it can see over the front of the bike. Uh, I like this footage. Um, it's not a bad view. I like the fact that you can see the controls of the bike. But it is a little shaky, and I think that's probably the extra length of the extender. It just makes the camera bounce around a little more than I'd like. Okay, this is experiment number two. This time, same thing, except the chesty does no longer have the uh, extender on it. So it's now strapped directly to my chest, and hopefully it's high enough that you can see over, but let's have a look. Okay, as you just heard, this is experiment number two, and in this one, I've got the camera mounted on the chesty, but without the extender arm. So, it actually sits much closer to my body, and, and there's, because there's no arm, it doesn't bounce around as much. It actually seems a little bit better, I think, um, but it's not as high up. The perspective isn't quite as high, so uh, you're seeing a little bit more of the bike than the bike. Okay, this is experiment number three. The camera is now mounted on top of my helmet, uh, and we'll see how that goes. One of the problems with having it mounted on your helmet, of course, is every time you turn your head, you get this kind of swinging back and forth, um, which is a little annoying, but of course, if you're riding the bike, it's really something you've got to do. You've got to look over your shoulder all the time. Uh, the actual footage, I'm, it's not as good as I expected it to be. I think it bounces around a little more than I thought it would. It's okay. I like the high kind of view and the fact that you can just see the, the, um, the, the windscreen uh, just out of shot down the bottom there. But I think it bounces more around than I really would like. So maybe not the best one. Okay, this one, the GoPro is mounted to the front of the bike, uh, but it's on the fairing and I think it's going to get a little bit of vibration from the fairing now, but uh, we'll see. So I really like the perspective of this one. I like the fact that it's lower on the road. You're actually seeing how much the bike is tilting as it goes around corners, as it leans in. But um, it vibrates more than I would really like. Uh, I could probably take that out with some uh, image stabilization, but that really adds a lot of post-production that I really don't want to have to do every time I do this. So um, this is a reasonably smooth road too. So I think I know some of the not so smooth roads around the place, it would be a lot shakier. But you can definitely see the vibration being picked up on the road there. Okay, this last experiment, and I don't expect this one to be very successful, but this is now attached to the front um, mudguard of the front tyre, uh, and it's unsprung weight, so this is experiencing no suspension. Okay. You definitely get a nice sensation of speed from this angle. This is down even lower and you get to see how much the bike is leaning in around curves. But there's a lot of vibration going on. If you look, you can see sort of ripples in the picture where the frame rate can't actually keep up with the vibrations. Um, and like I said, this is a fairly smooth road. I've actually tried this on rougher roads and it's almost unwatchable. This is not too bad, but um, you can definitely see it shaking around there on the road. It's a pity because I really like the angle. So here's all four views together. I didn't worry about the one on the, uh, on the wheel itself because I know that's unusable. I'm curious to know which one do you think is best? Uh, looking at them all side by side here, I think I know which one I prefer. But I'd be really interested to know what you guys think. So uh, leave a note in the comments or uh, respond via the Twitter and uh, let me know what you think. Um, 
I'm really looking for a solution that I can just go and put the camera on the bike, film something, and then dump it straight into the computer to edit without having to do image stabilization or anything, uh, anything that's really uh, intensive or time intensive to do. So, interesting experiment though. There you go, bit of fun. Good way to spend a Sunday afternoon.